Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a magical day and this one is today even more magical. Today we're doing as well as for the next uh basically two more Wednesdays I will be doing Flora Janssen and well third Wednesday it's going to be a Nightwish song called Ellen I think. Ellen. Yes I think that's how you name it, how you say it. Um, I'm quite excited for all of them. We have Shallow for today. Next Wednesday is gonna be something else of Florianson's. And we also have, as I said, last Wednesday is going to be uh Nightwish's Ellen. Now I'm doing more Florianson because I haven't done as much before, and also because I am drawing her digitally this time before because last time I did her in a traditional oil painting. Uh, this time I am digitally drawing her in a huge mural, uh, which are, which is basically full of artists that I've done until now. And I'm going to add basically as many artists as I can. I think I've added at least like 40, 50 artists, 50 faces, not artists, because there's bands and there are five members each. So it adds up. But yeah, I'm really excited to see how that goes. It's also a part of the journey to reach 10,000 subscribers since we hit the 9,000 and I still cannot believe it but I think that's a really cool project to like top it off especially when you reach like such a milestone and I'm really glad we are like close to it like even close to it so yes I'm very very excited I'm also super excited to listen to Shallow it's been on my list for a while and I'm quite sad that I now get to do it like with every like new artists and everything everything's start stocking up so these weeks like these three weeks are going to be for old artists like super old artists that i've done then like the very first ones i did and next three weeks are going to be a bit more newer artists next next weeks next next three weeks are going to be even newer artists and then we'll come to the fourth week which are the newest artists i've done and basically it's going to be a four-part video mural of the ending of every three weeks that i'm going to be showing you and yeah, at the end, it's going to be a complete mural until I start a new artist. And then I'll need to add them inside, which is going to be pretty cool. Until it becomes huge <laughs> and I add new paper and I enlarge and everything. It's, it's going to be, I, I want to see how far I can take it. I want to go wild with it. So uh, let's go with Shallow. Very excited. I know the song as well, so very excited. I find myself longing for change. Okay, I love how she's working with her voice here. It is crazy. She is light, very, very light, whispery vocals. Very, very airy, like feathery, with a lot of like breath in them. But it doesn't overdo it because I can hear a solid voice, like a solid note coming out every time. And as she continues, if you see like the second half of the session that we just listened to, is more deep vocals, less breathiness. And she keeps it at the end to keep the effect and the idea going, which is so pretty because she starts off strong with a strong note, a deep note. She turns it in and fades out. It's so pretty. Longing for change. And all the times I fear myself Tell me something girl Aren't you tired trying to fill that void Can we can you just see how much she felt that vocal that beginning vocal 
you, you, she just felt it so much. It's it, beautiful. Not only her mouth, it's like her mouth brought out the perfect like note she wanted to give out and like it showed in her expression and reaction afterwards like just check that little detail out i love i love that moment tell me something girl aren't you tired trying to fill that void or do you need Hard keeping it so hardcore. Mm, I'm falling in all the good times. I find myself belonging for change. In all the bad times, I fear myself. I'm off the deep end. What you say? Okay, okay, I want to see the build-up happen, but those high notes were beautiful. Like, they were so solid and, like, oof. they were breathtaking. Also, the moment she hit the high notes, you were like, because you're aware and the people who already know how her voice works, when she hits that high note, you're like, it's like she's free. It's like she just unleashed something, and it's so beautiful. Especially when she starts with breathy like whispery vocals and a bit of a deepness that's not even close to what she can do and then she just hits you with like beautiful high notes that again i feel like are limited because she can go way higher it's so so cool to see that because like you, you even when she does that she just, just it's just like she's breaking free and just like <laughs> it's beautiful okay i want to see how she develops the I want to see the up and like oh i want to see how it has to like basically gonna flow right through so i want to see how it's gonna go beautiful she's such a queen and she's not even tapping into her full potential like i love she's showing respect to the song and she's working with it like there's some key parts like that she adds breath into it like then like when she goes up she like turns it in and doesn't go full out it's it's those little differences that i really really like we also have the finishing high notes like the the session that repeats itself the chorus beautifully done like it, it's so it's so beautiful how she works with it that she doesn't go over the top but you know she can't like it she's definitely like just like 
controlling her voice perfectly to the point where we just enjoy chills through our bodies without having to go through the highest of high notes. It's very, very cool to see that. Like, she doesn't, like, base her songs and, like, performances solely on high notes, even though she can definitely deliver them. And if you don't believe me, go listen to Frozen. Uh, <laughs> so you'll know. Uh, but I love this. It's because the song itself also is quite a roller coaster. She has made it a very beautiful, smooth, elegant, with full of little surprises and gemstones along the way of the little turns she has, going deeper, heavier, and then just lightly like finishing it off. It's so insane how she changes through those notes. It's beautiful, flawless, and just perfect for such a song. I feel like she brings a different character to it, a more calm one, and it's beautiful to see. I wanted to see if she would change it completely and go very, very dark and deep into it, or if she would keep the original. What she's done is actually like go even lighter and relax even more. And it's very important to mention that I still got chills throughout the whole process because her voice is being controlled and worked on that well, and she knows how to use it that efficiently. That you still enjoy a very satisfying experience and performance. It's super fun. I can't. I really enjoyed that so much. Hope you did too. It's a really cool, like, how she, like, works with it. I still cannot, like, imagine, like, when you can, like, perform a song calmly that gives chills to everyone from the little things you change. It's so cool. Again. <laughs> Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell notifications that will be sent. Any more um, artists for this week is going to be Friday's Aurora. And we have next Monday, we'll have Angelina Jordan, if you're interested. And then again, um, Florianson. So yeah, I hope you had fun. If you did, I hope to see you guys next time in my next reaction. Bye-bye.